folks. I'm whispering because it's super early. The sun has just risen. Not a soul on the street. But today, we're going fishing. But first, I need coffee. And I need breakfast. So let's go and get it. I'm about to make one of the most complicated breakfasts known to man and its name, French Toast. That's breakfast out of the way. Time to pack my bags and we'll head off. Now, we're going up to a reservoir that's quite near me, so we're gonna cycle there. I went up a couple of weekends ago, didn't catch anything. <laughs> it's been about six hours there. And I was kinda of half thinking, is there any fish in here? But, ironically, there were some fish that were jumping, and I believe those fish to be brown trout. And that's what we're gonna try and catch today. Although there is, um, there's perch, roach, and pike. Of course there's pike, there's always pike. Spinning rod, six foot, light, perfect. Lures, reel, spare reel, just in case. Lunch, with elastic band because this lint can't come off easy. Healthy juice, unhealthy juice, fruit bar, packet of crisps, and the king. Always have a Turox caramel log. God given.
So the elevation is actually that steep that we are way above the city. Actually, Glasgow Airport's around that corner. You're above the planes that are coming into land, so you're looking down on British Airways EasyJet planes that are coming in. It's quite cool. Also, if you look, um, this is like the city centre here, and then you've got the east end of Glasgow uh, around this part. Um, so even just as a viewing point, it's quite cool. But we're almost at the reservoir. It's called Greenside Reservoir. Right now we're just walking adjacent to the, the overflow water that comes down the burn from the reservoir. You could even fling a line in there and maybe catch onto a brown trout. But we are going for the big body of water. Plus, there's a lot of brambles here and I'm wearing shorts. As you can tell from my face from this morning, the cycle here is all uphill, crawling pace. Pace of a snail. Because <laughs> it's a gravel path that goes all the way up. It's actually a good path for a walk, but on bike it's a bit skittery. I don't fancy coming off. We're almost there. That's where the slipway comes out and it is literally like the world's scariest water park slide. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. There we go. <laughs> How scary is that? No chance of getting going down there. So all the gear grinding on bike, all that elevation cycling up, was it worth it? <laughs> Will you tell me? Wow. Nearly there. How is about that, folks? See that? So definitely fish there. I just need to get them a bit. <laughs> Didn't catch anything. Uh, 
it is now 10 past 2, sorry, ten, it's now 10 past 2, I've been here since, what, half 8? Constant fishing, constant spinning, fish jumping all over me. I could have leapt in and grabbed one, but for some reason I can't get it right. I've tried six different lures, it's all spinners mind you, um, can they catch a thing? So there's loads of them, fly fishing might be the option here. I just don't know how to fly fish. But nah, nothing. So, uh, game's a bogey, back down the road. Uh, I don't even know if I'll make this into a video because there's like absolutely zero fish, zero content, zero nothing. Uh, but, aye. <sighs> we need to talk about the fact that I can't catch fish. That place we've just been to, I went two weeks ago, fish everywhere. Like jumping out the water, couldn't catch one. Could not catch a fish. And I've just spent another six hours. Like same thing. <laughs> oh, what don't tell my Fanta strawberry? Who has ever had Fanta strawberry? Not sure about that. I didn't catch much footage of the actual fishing. The idea was, or the hope was, that I'd hit into something, I'd have a fish on, and I'd get the GoPro started, and we could share that experience. Obviously, that did not happen. <laughs> fish were jumping at the water again, right beside me, right in front of me. I had this lovely little bay area, it was quiet, the wind wasn't really disturbing the water too much. I don't really know what fish they were, or they were, but I'm pretty sure they're trout. In fact, I'm almost 100% sure it's trout that's in there. I've been told before there's brown trout in there, and the way they were surfacing up to the water, they were coming for flies. I just could not get one to catch on, so I'll show you what I was using. Hopefully somebody can help improve my fishing game. I like to spin, it's my preferred method. And these were the spinners I was using. Now I was told that these were tr these were trout trout spinners, I'll show you them. And then I had this guy as well. <laughs> so I went through every single one of them over the course of that six hours. Not interested, not a bite, not even a chase. I've been fly fishing before. And I could get, in, I don't have a fly fishing setup, I don't have a fly fishing rod, real flies. And I imagine it would be quite expensive to start from scratch, even if I went for the most basic a kit. But people catch trout on spinners, right? That happens. So what, what to use? <laughs> What to use, tell me. What are some of the best spinners to use? Any help is appreciated, because I am crap. It was still good to be up there and it was still a nice experience. It's good to get out of the house, especially now. And the weather was good now and the, the scenery was lovely. But for now, day's done. Sorry I couldn't bring any action on the fishing front, but we'll be back. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully we'll get to go again. Comment, tackle tips, spinning for trout, brown trout specifically I think as well. What attracts them the most? What will improve my chances of a bite? Anyway, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video.